Good morning, Fian family. Happy Chappy here. Happy Video Devotion Day. All right, team. So this week, we've been taking the week to reflect on um, the tragedy and, and the pain, but also the beauty, this, this, this being wounded and yet rising at the same time within the, the tragedy within Humboldt, um, with the Humboldt Broncos. And I've been talking about yesterday's devotion, talked about the littlest light in the darkness. So here I am in the dark. You got one candle here. Look how much that lights us up. No matter if I turned off all the lights in this room, this candle, this light, this love, call it love, call it God, call it Christ consciousness, call it whatever you would like, there is this life, there is this source that is always, always shining and in no darkness can overtake it. This is the light that pierces through the darkness. And look what else happens. Now I take another one. And it gets that much brighter. And I take another one. And it gets that much brighter and I could keep going and I could keep going until I was breaking fire code and we had all of these candles lit in here. That is community, Fian family. That is the importance of community. That is the love of community. That is the power of the community where two or three are gathered in love and in goodness and in beauty. This is what happens. We light. We light up the world. We light, we light up each other. And the more light and love that we can gather around, the brighter everything becomes. Um, Humboldt is near and dear to my heart because I myself was a minor league Humboldt Bronco. Um, there, I don't know if you can see it, if the light's not quite that good enough, let's see here. There's me uh, as a little, little in here. My bro was also a Humboldt Bronco and they used to dress me up in their equipment and it stunk, but I didn't care because I loved it. And let's see, here's another one of me. Humble Bronco right there. Da, 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 da. Mushroom cut and all. Sheena Grund, that's my maiden name. I played center and goalie. I was standing three feet, 11 inches tall. Can you believe I've grown one whole foot since 1992? Good times, good times, Adams, well done. Um, but the other thing I wanna talk about today is this. Beyond the idea of light in each other's darkness and the littlest light being able to pierce the darkest darkness, is that um, we can take this darkness and we can create it into a soil. If you think of the richness of, of soil, and even though it's dark, and even though it's it's um, um, even though it's 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 darkness, you can see that if you think of it as soil, from the soil grows and blossoms beautiful and surprising things over time, um, and. This, this is that's my trusting in God. I don't believe I, the the God doesn't orchestrate tragedies. God doesn't. Or there's the world is free. For the world to be a world that has to be free, we make choices. We kind of co-create with God, but knowing that God's love is there no matter what to guide us. You know, we say God for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. The way I look at that is this: that God's plans for us are always love, are always pulling us forward so no matter what happens to us within this world where we make free choices no matter what we can trust that our God of love will pull us forward and will will give us the opportunity to surround ourselves with community and with light and with love and so my prayer for you is just after this this Easter season is that we allow ourselves to resurrect by Mary Magdalene thought Jesus was the gardener so interesting this idea of the darkness and the soil and may we and Jesus being love being a gardener may we allow that love to enter our hearts and our beings within our sorrow within our pain and trust that God can bring beauty even from tragedy um, and allow ourselves to feel those dark emotions to have self-compassion and love with each other and embrace each other and that's our prayer and Let's just end with the church saying, Amen.
Thank you, Terry. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Have yourself a jazzy, awesome, blessed, and sugary day, Fian family. And from my soul to yours, rejoice. Love is alive. We got this. Mic drop.